Some days you wake up a red monster. There was a moment I thought to myself, you know what, it would be probably easier if I just cut my finger off, be less painful. They're not the kind of thoughts that you want to have. Um, but it's hard when you're told that there's no cure. I guess I was a pretty quiet kid. My sister was very extroverted. My mum used to ask me direct questions and yet my sister would always interrupt. So I would, <laughs> I would sit in the back seat. I was diagnosed with eczema when I was two years old. My mum would have to put a lot of lotion all over my body and school was hard. Little kids wouldn't want to play with me in the playground. They wouldn't want to hold my hand in the lines because they don't understand that it's not contagious. I hit high school. I became very self-conscious. You want to cover it up, but the foundation and the makeup products would then also cause my skin to flare. Most people think that eczema is just an itch, but it's not just itch. There's so much more. There's so many layers to it. Eczema or severe atopic dermatitis is where there's a defect in the moisture in your skin. The moisture is evaporating at a quicker rate and it means that allergens can find their way in through cracks in your skin. Dust mite is a really pervasive allergen. Chemicals and things like chlorine. Smoke is an allergen. When we had the bushfires, my eyes were so swollen that I couldn't see for three months. That was pretty traumatic. The inflammation that's involved, it can cause this burning sensation. It's all encompassing. Even the itch, it's all encompassing. You can't, you can't get away from it. And when someone's trying to talk to you and hold a conversation, it's just, it's so distracting. So it definitely it impacted my school life um, pretty drastically. When I moved into high school, uh, my mum and I were sitting down at like an orientation day and we were going through a list of sports that I could do and fencing was on the list. She said, oh, it's something to do with swords, like sword fighting. <laughs> and my young teenage brain was like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> like Pirates of the Caribbean, Lord of the Rings, definitely want to do that. So my mum sent me to some fencing lessons and I got really into that. When I put my mask on, it just, I just went to this different world. I got into the zone and all of my skin, all of my issues just disappeared. I met a coach from the Italian Olympic team and he kind of took me under his wing. I started representing Australia at the World Junior Championships and I did really well, really thrived. Unfortunately though, the sport of fencing probably isn't the best sport for my skin. You're in multiple layers of clothing, you're getting really sweaty. It's a bacteria haven. <laughs> my eczema just got worse again. It meant that I wasn't able to train very frequently. And so then I would end up with lots of injuries. With eczema, it feels like a treatment will work for a while. And then after a period of time, that treatment stops working and then you're on the hunt for some more relief again. There were so many treatments that my mum took me through. I've got a list. <laughs> so I had oatmeal bars, bleach bars, cryotherapy, acupuncture, hydrotherapy, Chinese herbal medicine, all of the corticosteroid creams. And then we fell into immunosuppressants. They seemed to help initially. Um, but I ended up having so many infections because it was a generalized immunosuppressant. My skin would flare up. I would then break that down with the itching and through those little cracks, I would then get staph infections. I had a crack in the corner of my lip and staph got in there and it quickly found its way to my bloodstream. And so I ended up with septicemia and I went straight to hospital. My survival rate was not great. Um, 
The hospital covered me in corticosteroid creams and then they'd wrap me in bandages. I remember my various family members coming to the hospital to visit and I didn't really want to see them because I was just so tired. I just wanted to sleep the whole time. But they were just, they were just coming there to say hi and I guess hoping that I wasn't going to pass away. <laughs> It was definitely kind of a pivotal moment there that I was like, hmm, maybe there's more to life. <laughs> maybe I should break away and quit fencing and find some other things that I enjoy. One of my friends introduced me to climbing and that introduced me to my husband. Climbing, I really enjoy because there's this puzzle element. It means that you're not thinking so much about your skin. We got engaged and then got married in 2021. I knew that parenting was a challenge. <laughs> I didn't quite realise how much more of a challenge it would be with my condition. A few months into my pregnancy, I ended up with basically every different type of eczema that I've had through my life in the one short period of time. My hands were so bad. I had all these lesions. Every time I was holding my son and he was drawing on my hands or I was trying to feed him solids and wiping him up, cleaning, all of that kind of stuff. It's just excruciating, stinging pain. When he was about nine months, I had a lot of depressive thoughts. I felt like my capacity compared to so many other young mothers was so much lower. So I decided that I would try a new treatment, which is more of a targeted immunosuppressant. It's a bit more of a specific type of immunosuppressant. So it's looking at two markers that affect eczema and asthma, rather than a full systemic immunosuppressant. So you're less likely to get sick, you're less likely to get infections, but it's dampening that immune response. Probably within three days, I could notice such a huge difference. I was not as itchy. You could see the inflammation in my skin going down. Even the scabs that were peeling off still, the skin underneath was just a lot firmer and not as irritated. And so I've been able to do so much more. I've been, even been able to wear my wedding rings for the first time in two years, <laughs> which is just, yeah, amazing. <laughs> I wouldn't be the same person without eczema. It has made me humble. It's made me resilient to pain. It's made me create this fantastic support network around me of people who care and who don't judge me based on my appearance. I'm trying to just get out every day and do new things without worrying too much about my eczema. Yes, I have to take moisturizer with me wherever I go, but yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be up and down. That's just the nature of it.